Before we can talk about how we multiply signed numbers, we need to think about what does that even mean? The easiest way to understand the multiplication of signed numbers is when we think about a signed number as change. So, for example, let's suppose that it's getting late and the temperature is decreasing. Suppose the temperature decreases by 2 degrees Fahrenheit every hour. It's been doing that for a while and it's going to keep doing that for a while. So every hour the change is negative 2. So we might ask the question, what will the change have been if I look at the temperature three hours from now? Well, so in one hour, the change is negative 2. In another hour, the change is another negative 2. And in another hour, the change is another negative 2. Right. Adding those up using our rules of addition, that's negative 6. Oh, but we have a name for that kind of repeated addition. That kind of repeated addition is called multiplication. So 3 hours times negative 2 degrees per hour is negative 6 degrees. OK, so far so good. To multiply a positive number by a negative number, then, we use the same repeated addition idea as we have before. OK, what about, how could I understand the signs the other way around? That is, how could I understand negative 3 times positive 2? All right, let's think about this story. If the temperature is increasing by 2 degrees every hour, then the change is positive 2 degrees every hour. OK, but how could I multiply that by negative 3 hours? Let's think about the sign as indicating direction, right? Why not? We can, at least computationally, go back in time. What do I mean by that? I think about the problem as starting now, but ending three hours ago. This is actually one of those less than an arbitrary zero understandings of negative numbers. I've arbitrarily decided to call right now time zero. OK, now that we've involved time travel, let's think about what happens to the temperature. If as I go forward in time, the temperature goes up, as I go backward in time, the temperature must go down. So every hour I go back, I subtract 2. So if I've got negative 3 times 2, that's the opposite of 2. when I go back one hour, minus another 2 minus another 2. Every hour I go back, the temperature goes down. So that's going to be negative 6 as well. Why did I do that? Why didn't I just say, well, multiplication's commutative, so whatever? Because this is going to help me to think about what about negative 3 times negative 2? This is going to be kind of anticlimactic, right? I'm saying the temperature goes down by 2 degrees every hour. 
but I'm going back in time. So for every hour I go back, I have the opposite of negative 2 degrees minus another negative 2 degrees minus another negative 2 degrees. Well, thinking about this in terms of the additive inverse, right? I can rewrite this as addition. This is going to be 2 plus 2 plus 2 is positive 6. Okay, I think we can see the rules. But in the next video, we'll write down what the rules are, and we'll see how this also applies to division.